Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm Kip and today you're in for another sneaker review. Today, as you can see in the background, we have the Nike Dunk Glow Ocean. Um, to me, this is crazy. Um, I would have called it the Nike Dunk Wave, but this is literally crazy. It's like nothing that I've seen before. Um, and I just I just think it's mad what they've done with the, with the material here. Let's get into this. Let's take a look at this one quickly. So as I said, today we have the Nike Dunk Glow Ocean. Um, I think it looks kind of like a wave, ocean wave. The sea reminds you of that. The colors they've used, kind of tones, is very, very cool. Uh, very, very cool sneaker. But before we get into it, as ever, today I will talk to you about the detail, the design, the colorway which we just touched on, sizing, as ever, retail price, retail price if there is any, and of course, my favorite part of the review, the on review at the end. So let's get into this. Here we have it, the Nike Dunk Low Ocean. This is pretty cool. This is crazy. I mean, we talked a little bit about Dunks recently, kind of how many they've released over the last one, two, three years. Um, kind of what they've done previously, kind of using the same colors and just doing gradients of those. But now they're kind of being really creative and not just, this is not even a collaboration. This is just a normal Nike drop and it's crazy what they've done with it. They're being really, really creative here and I like that. Firstly, I just want to say in terms of the color, the color is lighter than you see in the video and um, pictures videos it seems to come out a lot darker um, rather than a kind of that darker blue that you're seeing or that kind of darker green it is a bit lighter so i would say um, it's a little bit lighter than it shows on the video on the camera on the pictures that you see online and um, you do need a kind of bright light to see it quite close up uh, it is lighter than that it's more green than blue i would say but very 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 cool and um, so i mean yeah so in terms of the outline and the coloring so on the mud guards, through the eyelets, um, the stripe at the back, through goes through to the bottom bit of the back on the dunk glows. It is that ocean colorway, which is a bluey greeny type color, almost like a turquoise. Um, but in that, you also get this whitey gray bit, which would replicate a wave. So that you know, as you get the waves come through, you get the white bits. That's what this is doing. It's so cool. The swoosh got that too, um, and also at the back just behind the Nike logo, which is embroidered as usual there. It is very, very cool. Um, and to match that, you've also got laces, which are the same color. Just going on laces, I probably would have added in a white pair, but that's probably asking for too much on a Nike Dunk, on a Saturday Dunk release. Um, but nonetheless, very, very cool. And then as ever, what you see with a lot of the Dunks, you've got the background color being white. So if you look at, in the middle here, we've got a white leather in the toe box and at the back as we usually do. But this time around, the quality of materials is crazy. Not like the standard dunks and 90 pound dunks. The quality of material on this dunk, and you pay for what you get, is 110 pounds, but it is really good quality. In terms of the kind of crumbled, pebbled leather that you see at the front and in the middle and towards the back, it's very similar to the leather that you get, or maybe the same um, leather that you get from the Nike dunk by use at the moment. Um, rather than the standard ple pleather that you seem to get, which I like to call in the standard 90 pound dunks, you're getting that better quality leather. And again with this, I guess this blue material here, this leathery material, it's more tough, but it's a quality leather. And, and that's what you want to see. So you're getting more quality product here, definitely. As we move on to the tongue, they've done something different here. So you usually get that normal canvasy material. This reminds me of kind of like basketball shorts. Um, it's that type of material as you can see close up, you see about the whole holes in there. It's very, very cool. I like that. It's a nice touch what they've done here. Um, a little bit like netting kind of thing, maybe something to do with kind of like fishing nets or something. I have no idea, but it's cool. So it's cool to have that kind of netty type material with holes in. It really, really does remind me of something like basketball shorts or something like that. So that's cool. Um, as standard, they've gone with a white midsole, which you see on a lot of dunks. And then they've changed up again. On the bottom, you've got like a translucent sole, which is really, really cool. And again, reflects like that wavy type design. And it is very, very cool. It's something different. This to me is a summer sneaker. Uh, it really is. I think this one's going to pop in the summer. I think everyone's going to be loving these, going to be rocking them. I don't think there was crazy numbers released. Um, not that many retailers had them. I know a few did, but 
it's very very cool i mean and again even inside if you look inside there in the mid in the insole you've got like a wavy pattern as well so they've gone they've gone all out on this one and i think it's very very cool it's another collaboration the price i mean that extra 20 pounds for me is well worth it in terms of what you're paying on the sand dunks anyway the quality is there i think they're more durable the material looks a lot more durable um, and i even feel a little bit padded inside as well a bit more padded inside which is very very cool um and just adds an extra bit of comfort in terms of the sizing your sizing is pretty standard as it would be with your dunks so don't size up don't size down true to size what you usually would go with your dunks um, so don't need to change anywhere there in terms of um retail price i know i touched on is 110 pounds how i got my pair i was able to get my pair on a foot patrol raffle so i was very very lucky i hadn't won one of those in ages i think even it was back way back to the last summer before, last time i won a foot patrol raffle so thank you very much for that one there uh, but i know nikeap dropped these or sorry not nikeap i think sneakers dropped these um so a few different places dropped them but yeah that's why i got my pair i know n obviously dropped the pairs what well, dropped the pairs as well uh, so there's a few different places that had, but not that many retailers um, that you see kind of dropping all of the other dunks. So not as many available as you'd think. Um, so it's very, very cool. Um, they've dropped it right at the right time. I mean, they've dropped it May, kind of summer's coming, the weather's getting better. People are going to want to wear these sneakers. In terms of resale, I mean, people have gone crazy over dunks over the last few years. And as we know, the prices can go crazy. I mean, even with you took kind of the Panda Lows, people have gone crazy over them. The price has stayed up there. You could pay up to like 180 for... Kind of the higher sizes um and they've just stayed there they haven't really dropped they're kind of very very kind of solid in where they're at and i think this could be another pair that would be like that i think this is a pair that will increase in price so i mean at the moment you're looking at about 140 to 170 180 for these top end probably 180 um, and i think that's something that will increase in summer these are definitely something for the summer as the weather gets better as people are wearing their summer clothes um it's definitely one that is going to hit with a nice weather and the color is perfect i don't really need too much to go with these they're kind of a statement piece themselves so I definitely see these hitting higher figures. Um, so if you want to get your pair, say grab them now. You might get lucky. You might get them at a good price. Um, hopefully you do. Hopefully you do. So there you go. You've heard my thoughts. You've heard the reviews. Seen the materials. You've seen the close up. But of course, now for the on fruit review. Let's check these out. Thank you very much guys that is the nike dunk low ocean um such a very very cool sneaker something unique something new that nike have done here and i really really like it um please let me know what you guys think let me know drop a comment in the comments box below and um, let me know your thoughts let me know about sneakers that you're looking to cough or sneakers that you want to see reviews of um and let me know what you think of the content on the video it really does go a long way um as ever i really do appreciate the support so please do like subscribe and share uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future content kind of keeps you up to date on that anything that's coming through i'm trying to drop back two three videos a week now so trying to keep the content up there for you guys um, and as ever thank you very much for support and take care